Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an eye look with the eyeshadows that I got from TJ Maxx, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. So before we get started, I'm currently doing a giveaway. Um, it's only basically two rules. One, you just have to be subscribed to my channel. And two, all you gotta do is leave the cold word over on my Instagram on any one of my pictures. So if you want to know anything else about the giveaway, just check my description and the link to the giveaway video will be there. So let's get started with the video. All right, so I got you guys all zoomed in. So before we get started, I've purchased five eyeshadows from TJ Maxx. All right, so the five eyeshadows that I purchased was Custom, Icy, Fawn, Gold Bar and Topaz. So today we're going to be doing an eye look with that and I'm also going to use a liquid lipstick that I got from TJ Maxx. Alright, first I'm going to be starting this look off by priming my eyelid with the Tarte Shape Tape in Tan. Okay, and I'm going to use an E8 Morphe brush just to blend that in. So with these eyeshadows, normally they are, normally they are, I believe $12, but at TJ Maxx they were only $3.99. So oh my God, like I wish they had every color from Anastasia, but of course, usually when you get stuff from TJ Maxx, it's like the discontinued stuff or it's about to go in a new package and things like that. All right, now that my eyelids are prepped, I'm gonna go in with the color Gold Bar as my transition shade. And I'm just gonna put Gold Bar right here and right above the crease. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the color Fawn and I'm gonna put that into my crease. And I'm using an M433 Morphe brush. I right, so only had two matte shades from TJ Maxx, which I am pretty dark so you really can't you know see them all that well they did blend really nicely and they are really pigmented I'm just really dark so it's gonna look like nothing on me so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I'm gonna go in with modern renaissance palette and I'm gonna use real gar and take a little bit of that on a M39 brush and I'm gonna put that right under the color we just I used. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with the R37 brush and I'm just gonna soften out the edges. Taking like a really light hand with no more product on it and just softening it out. All right, now I'm gonna take a E17 brush and I'm going back in to the Renaissance palette and I'm going for Cypress Umber. And I'm just going to put that a little bit lower than I put Real Gar. Just to deepen out the crease. Oh, 
All right, so we got those colors down. Now, now I'm going to cut the crease with this Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the color 6.0, which I also got from TJ Maxx. I believe this one was, I want to say $7, maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to use a color pop brush. It's like a flat brush. Nope, it says China. Thought I had a number for you guys, but I don't. I'm just going to dip that in there. All right, now to carve out the lid, I'm just going to tilt my head back. Oh, this is my first time ever using Jack and Tillage, which is really, really creamy. Bring it all the way over. All right, next I'm going to go in with the color Icy, which is a icy blue color, hence the name. And I'm going to put that on my lid. Not all of it, just partial of the way. And I'm taking it on a Tarte brush, which is from the uh, Magic Collection. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. But I do have a video on that, if you guys want to check it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Which I will link down below. All right, and I'm going to spray it with some of the Tarte. Um, a marine boosting mist just a lesson a little bit all right let's pop her up on my lid okay well nothing is coming off okay we got a little something now Shopping. Let's try this on the other eye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, still no. Okay. Nope. I'm like literally digging in the pan. It's kind of shocking, man. The Sassia eyeshadows are usually very, very good. Especially the ones I know in the palettes are really good. They don't even look the same. I am pretty upset. Might want my four dollars back. That's how upset I am. Okay, so if you guys are entering the giveaway, then the code word is poppin'. And if you don't know anything about my giveaway, check out the description box of the video there. <laughs> Bye guys. Stay poppin'. Alright, now I'm gonna take two pads on the same brush and pop it into the middle of my lid. All right, so this one looks like it picked up a lot more pigment. Just gonna hit it with the more, just gonna hit it with the more set spray. And put it right in the middle. Okay. Yeah, this one looks like it has a lot more pigment in the blue. Hmm. Why couldn't the blue be like this? This is looking, looking cute. All right, last but not least, I'm going to be going in with the color Custom, and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of my lid. Custom is a really nice color it's like a kind of like a purple undertone it is really really pretty i am really loving this all right now that i'm done with my shadow i'm going to finish out with my liner and lashes and i'll be right back all right so liner and lashes are done 
So in all in all, I really like them. It looks cute. Mm -mm -mm. So now let's move on to the lips. So I'm going in with the Kat Von D lip liner in Hawkwing to line my lips. Hmm. There's a lot more pink than I thought. So yeah, see how this one goes. All right, so lips are lined, so I'm gonna go in with this liquid lipstick in Seraphine that I also got from TJ Maxx, which is like a red. Yeah, it's a red, which I also got from TJ Maxx, um, and then I'm just gonna put it on. Good. Now, like you just say stuff. Can you, you think about it before you said it? That's what just happened. Of course I'm gonna put it on. It's fucking lipstick. Nice pigment. All right, so lips are done. That was a really nice liquid lip. I literally didn't dip into it except the one where I just broke it out. So that was a really good liquid lipstick. For the eyeshadows, um, the icy color is the only one I had trouble with. And I don't know why, like, blues are usually always good. Blue is, like, my favorite color to use. It's not my favorite color. Yeah, it's my favorite color. But most of everything was a success. I love my look. Um, let me know if you guys find any other TJ Maxx finds because I would love to get my hands on them. If you're a makeup addict and you've never been to TJ Maxx, Ross, or any of those other stores, I don't know what you're doing. Not Ross. TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Sorry. Marshalls. I don't know what you're doing. Honestly, there's a whole bunch of makeup pages. They'll tell you what they do have. Like, she had so much stuff there. Like, ridiculous amount of stuff. But it's already stuff that I already have bought. So, of course, I'm kind of mad that I didn't shave that shmoney. Okay. But it's the end of this video. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Um, and last but not least.